someone on the comments ask how did I do this droplet animation uh, he is talking about this shot this shot here oh the thing about creating this is quite very simple it's just it's just uh, it just uh, it's just a curve so we can just add a curve here curve we can add a path or a b0 is all gonna work so let's choose the path for path just down just grab it and put it up yeah like that put it up it's a trick is to is to align this curve along this bottle is to align the curve along the bottle so right on we're gonna add the drop the droplets and this droplet will follow the path this droplet will follow There is another another thing I, I want to add here is to snap this <laughs> this curve using string wrap to the to the object so I can I can make this droplet but it's not straight. I can make it curvy like a snake. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do this right now. Shrink wrap. And the target is, uh, is this bottom. Yeah, as you can see, it's already it's already wrapped around. So I can, if I can move this point here, you can see it is snapping. It is snapping. Yeah, that is the shrink wrap. That is the power of render. Render is really powerful. Really, really powerful. So I can move this uh, anywhere I want it. I can move this. So to make this animation interesting. Sorry guys for my English, you can see sometimes I'm very very slow but <laughs> I was thinking about the vocabulary to use to use in this video. My English is not that very good. I'm just learning right now English so I can get better. So, as you can see, it's really, it's really, really, really nice. It's looking really, really nice. So from here, you can apply this. Convert this to mesh. Then, keep origin. So right now, this is already mesh. As you can see, our shrink wrap profile is already applied so we can convert this again it's crazy to the mesh the cow the cow yeah so the 
curve is like this. That is the shape. That is the shape. So let's let's switch the view to the left orthographic view and uh, select this last very last point top point and uh, uh, shift this courses was selected also to select it so if i can add any object it will be added to this cursor that's why i didn't like it. i i did that okay I hope you understand my English or you guys I sell as I said so to demonstrate this for demonstration I'm gonna add it that you know UV sphere and uh reduce the number of subdivisions reduce the segment to 12 to 12 and this droplet is is the same size as this droplet on the bottom you can increase the size if you want it but I think this is fine I can add this for now I'll get back to it later <laughs> okay so select the droplet and then select the curve Control P, then you can get this drop up box that will give you that will give you option to either the to constrain the pass, to follow the pass, or to to cut the form. So for now we are going to follow path. As you apply this, you can see the object is moving. Let's try like origin to the 3d cost set origin origin to the 3d cost maybe this will work with that i'm not sure we're going to try together here. oh <laughs> i think it's working it is working <laughs> yeah it is working so alt h to unhide to hide the the object you can see it's going strange it's really going backward there is two things to fix so let's go to edit mode and then i want to flip direction direction switch direction switch direction so let's see if it's doing this right yeah the problem fixed that is it for the droplet animation it's time to to set up the shot for the droplet animation i think i'm gonna do it like this is this is empty is already added here i set this empty light over here scale it down and then this is a camera as you can see so we are gonna use this camera so let's select select this active camera this okay make this active camera select another camera and make it active camera let's just to move this to the awesome selection and even this one select so select this and make select this camera and make this active camera so if you can switch it you see the droplet do you see do you see it is it over it's really amazing 
so let's <clears throat> let's go to the uh, let's move this let's move this up and uh, let's split the view yeah okay t n properties panel yeah properties panel so we are gonna select the camera and then select this empty so make sure this empty is is perfectly aligned to the to the bottom cape so if you if you're gonna animate it later it will go perfect so select the camera select the the rig and go to the to the windows items objects and track to select it track to track to constraint if you select this the camera it should be like this so if you move the camera the camera is going to track around the bottle so you can see you can achieve this really amazing shots like this like this now set the keyframe by hitting i on the number pad by eating high on the keyboard so you can get this insert keyframe menu pop up you can select the position we are going to animate the position not rotation not a scale just a location and position so wherever the camera position is going to change but it doesn't change the, the focal point so it's like pivoting it is pivoting around the 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 target object oh, keyframe is it. then let's move this to the side frames and then move it down like this like this like this so you can follow you can follow the drop easily as you can see and then hit high at the location keyframe so as you can see this drop animation is started from there up to let's let's add location so let's move this alongside here just to, to make the timing right in order to see the droplet. I want to see the droplet dripping down. So let's move our keyframes. Let's start over here. 